For almost 2,000 years, the compass has been helping people find their way. It was first developed in China, before eventually East met West, and European sailors began using it to chart their course. They soon realised they'd be lost without it. This device is used to magnify a special metal alloy. A technician slips a retainer ring onto a jig and positions the magnet on top of it before placing an aluminium skirt over the magnet. This will support the compass dial, which goes on next. A pivot needle is inserted into the centre, which will allow the dial to rotate. Then all the pieces are press-fitted together. A chemical cleaner is sprayed into the pivot cavity. It has to be spotless because any dirt would impede its function. A small jewel post containing a tiny sapphire is also cleaned. Then the jewel post is fixed in the dial. The post will support the dial while allowing the pivot needle to move easily as it's pulled by magnetic forces. The dial is placed on a machine that mimics the Earth's pull. A weighted paint is brushed on the back of the dial to counteract the pull. This balances the compass dial, preventing false readings due to differences in the planet's magnetic force. These are lubber lines, small direction markers. They're inserted into holes in a jig and lined up with holes in an aluminium gimbal pan. The lubber lines are pressed into the pan. Now, two pins that allow the ring to flip around the gimbal pan are inserted into the gimbal ring. Then the compass dial is attached to the gimbal assembly. The technician spray paints the metal compass bowl black and pops a rubber diaphragm onto it. A bronze ring will hold it in place. This flexible rubber liner will contain the compass fluid and allow it to expand and contract. The dial and gimbal setup are snapped onto the bowl. To level it out, a small tab is bent over. An acrylic dome is positioned on top. Using another jig, a rubber ring is put over the dome to seal it, followed by a metal collar. With a power screwdriver, these pieces are anchored to the rest of the compass. Then, fluid is pumped into the bowl, filling the dome. The fluid magnifies the numbers. Next, two metal rods are magnetically charged and installed in the compass base. These will compensate for magnetic fields on the boat. A metal housing unit is mounted on the base. Then shock absorbers are attached to cushion the compass against vibrations. The compass is installed in the housing. Tapping the dome tests the shocks. A decorative aluminium cover fits around the dome. Then a light is installed to allow the navigator to see at night. Iron spheres are attached another tactic to counter magnetic interference. Our journey through the plant is now over and the compass is ready to set sail.